a high school girls softball coach. Good eye, Claire, good eye. Already has plenty to do. Run it, run it, run it. And Becca Bundy with four girls to raise. This is Hadley. Definitely. Didn't need anything else on her plate. Yet just last fall, there she was at home. Yep. Poised to take on something more. And somebody needed help, right? A benefit for a neighbor brought Becca and her husband to Viking Bar, where she couldn't miss the bartender in the brightly colored t-shirt. It says, my name is Bill. I'm in end stage kidney failure and in need of a kidney. Bill Cox and his wife Terry were that desperate. No energy. Born missing a kidney. Sleeping a lot. Bill's only working one yep. was shutting down two. He's been on the transplant list for a little over a year, year yep. and a half probably. When who should spot his plea okay. shirt? I couldn't get it out of my head. But Becca. I just said I'm the one and I know it. And turns out Becca so. had encountered Bill before. Call on the scanner. Bill the bartender is also Bill the volunteer firefighter who heard the call two years ago about the little girl. Yeah. Unconscious after a seizure. Becca's then one-year-old daughter, Hadley. And Bill was the one who was the first responder that came here. I thought that was one way that, you know, I could certainly say thank you. That's Becca and Bill at University of Minnesota Medical Center, where her matching kidney... Hi, Bill. ...became his. Doing okay. I feel pretty blessed to be chosen to be on his journey with him. Becca, the kidney donor who feels she's the one who's been given the gift. Yep. And Bill, the kidney recipient, left to conclude... She's an angel. Which is why the woodcarver who's decorated his home with fowl and fish Hand carved. carved his first celestial being for Becca. It'll watch over all of us here. Why? Bartender and customer now regularly Hi. get together. How are you guys? Good, good, good. How about you? Good. Good to see you. Good to see you. Why? Pictures drawn by Becca's kids now grace Bill's refrigerator. We don't have any grandkids. One, two, three. And why? Let's go! Just beyond the infield fence at the Northwoods High School softball game, you'll find Bill and Terry. Yeah, so we've got a little bit of a connection now with the girls' softball. So right, right. last fall, Keep your head in there. Becca Bundy Let's go. walked into a bar. Hadley, how old are you now? Three. <laughs> Who knew? Nine months later. This is paper. They would all be sharing pieces there you go. of each other. Betty, I want you to push me. Okay. It is that lifetime bond that'll never go away. Boy Duper, Carol Evan News. Good hit, Carol. Cook. Both Becca and Bill are hoping their story will encourage more potential kidney donors to come forward. You'll find a link to some very good information from the University of Minnesota at carolevan.com. Wow. Just wonderful. Mm -hmm. So many connections. I mean, to think that the, you know, her daughter had the seizure and he was the first responder and then he needs a hand and it's, that's community in, in a nutshell. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. She walked in and she said she just knew she was the one. Sometimes you just get that feeling. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Isn't fantastic. that amazing?